And goblins going to be knocking on doors asking for candy about 24 hours from now. But when the Halloween costumes come off, many kids and parents alike say that, man, we need a day off from school with after with, with all of that. Our Ken Molasina tonight explains the petitions in place right now and what schools are saying in response. <laughs> It's Halloween Eve, and the final rush is on inside Magic Etc. in Fort Worth for that perfect costume. I want one of these. We're like this one. Also, on the minds of these shoppers is a topic that has taken off across the country and North Texas petitioning school districts to give kids a day off after Halloween. We're all tired, and it's really hard to get up the next day. And sometimes we still have like costumes and makeup on. If you eat a lot of candy, then you're going to have a candy crash, and then you're just like going to be asleep at school the next day. And many parents seem to be on board. I would, I would be fine with letting them have the day off after Halloween. She usually lets me have the day off. But <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you're already not going to school. <laughs> well, no, I wasn't going to say that on the news. Well, <laughs> we checked in with some North Texas school districts mentioned in the more popular online petitions. Northwest ISD said. As far as our school calendar goes, we are business as usual on Friday. Plano says the district is not considering changes to the school calendar. Friday will be a school day as scheduled. McKinney ISD responded to more than 12,000 signatures saying, quote, if we canceled school every time students wanted a day off, I'm afraid we would not meet the state required number of instructional days. <laughs> So with all the school districts standing firm this year, there will be no day off from Halloween. But perhaps that's something to look forward to in the future. In the meantime, everyone should just enjoy all the costumes, all the candy, and we'll see all the kids back in school bright and early Friday morning. In Fort Worth, Ken Molestina, CBS 11 News. All right.